good morning everybody i am sandeep nandi from kollani government engineering college i am here today to discuss with the topic of quantization that is related to the digital communication system class so this is some learning objectives that we you will be able to do after the completion of this class that is uh, understanding the quantization you can calculate the snr of the quantization and you can solve some real time problems that will i will give you some example in this slide also so first of all before starting we will discuss what is actually the quantization this is the process of converting from a discrete time sig signal to a discrete time continuous signal to a discrete time discrete signal actually so basically from the quantum mechanics side the quantization is to design some energy levels or discretize some energy levels where the electrons will reside and the electrons will not reside beyond that type of energy levels so that that much concept has been uh, carried forward to this digital communication for this quantization that is uh, all the samples has been quantized to a particular discrete levels and each discrete levels will be renamed with some uh, digitized code and that digitized code will actually be transmitted that is actually a conversion of discrete time to digital signal actually the quantization is a middle process of the entire system that is called pulse code modulation and this pulse code modulation that is pcm is a process of generating digital signal from an analog signal here you can see the block diagram of the pulse code modulation and the block diagram consists of a sampler that is the sampling process <coughs> that you have studied earlier in the last class and that next class is the quantizer next block is the quantizer that we will study today that quantizer after the quantizer segment there is a block that is encoder this encoder block actually does the things that each quantization level will be assigned a particular code and that code will generate the pcm signal actually the pcm in that sense sometimes can be interchangeably uh, termed as analog to digital converter also here is some figure that we will do in the quantization process or inter pcm process that is this is uh, the uh, the dotted line you can see that is the analog signal actually we will want to digitize it first we take the samples these are the pulse strain and the pulse strain uh, defines the samples of the signals samples are taken at equal intervals at the uh, nyquist rate and that samples each samples had then been quantized to a discrete level and each level you can see in the left hand side is uh, assigned a particular code here is a 3 bit code that is 111 110 etc and each code will generate some pulses digital pulses that will generate the digital signal so quantization has mainly two different process we will discuss in this uh, class only the uniform quantization the basic idea of the uniform quantization here you will see in the figure the analog signal is sampled these dots these squares uh, small blue squares requires the samples represents samples each samples and these lines represents that the entire length of the signal entire peak to peak length of the signal has been divided into several voltage levels and these levels are actually the quantized levels quantization levels now whenever a sample falls within a particular level that uh, sample will be assigned to a particular quantization state that is particularly assigned for that level so you will see different uh, samples are there in the different quantization level and different quantization level will generate different quantization state actually so or uh, before going to this quantization we will define or we will actually divide entire peak to peak value or peak to peak length of the signal into l number of levels capital l number of levels here a more clear figure is there this is the analog signal the dots represent the samples and each level the horizontal line represents the voltage levels that we have defined you will see in the left hand side the entire peak to peak value that is from 3.5 volt to minus 2.5 volt at 5 volt has been divided into eight levels designed as defined as 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 etc and these levels contains equal interval of uh, operation that is each level has equal voltage interval minus 2.5 to minus 2 minus 2 to minus 1.5 to minus 0.5 to plus 0.5 etc and each 
voltage level has a midway horizontal line that defines the quantization state for that level now just uh, consider the case for the samples whose voltage is 3.6 nearly 3.6 volt and you see that 3.6 volt is very close to the 3.5 volt and this sample is fall into the level 7 so this sample is actually quantized in the 3.5 level so the quantized level sample value will now be designated as 3.5 and the code number will be 7 and the PCM sequence will be designed as 111 for the equivalent of the 7 binary equivalent for the 7 similarly for take another example that is the sample the, that is minus 0.7 volt minus 0.7 volt is closely related to minus 0.5 volt and that minus 0.5 volt is within the level 3 so it will be this sample is assigned to the quantization state that is a minus 0.5 volt and you see then in the below the figure the quantization sample value is now assigned as minus 0.5 volt where the actual value is minus 0.7 volt and uh, the uh, code number for this sample is 3 and the equivalent binary digital code is 011 that is generated after the end so this is the process we actually do the quantization that is the quantization is done so for the uniform quantization there are different steps first for the quantization we require to define the entire peak to peak value into small intervals each interval should have a quantized region quantized state we should assign that quantized state and number it accordingly in sequential order and then you'll see if we define divide entire length into l number of levels then we can represent each quantization state by small l number of code word that is actually related to this relation log to capital l so if we are defined or divided the entire length by eight number of levels so actually capital l is eight and you can use three bit code to generate or to designate each quantization state now here is some uh, short description for the de derivation of signal to quantization rise ratio what is actually snr defined snr is defined as the peak to peak value or peak signal power and ratio of the peak signal power and the noise power now first we calculate the noise power noise is a random signal so we cannot directly calculate the noise power so we can calculate the noise variance and uh, from your random variable or the probability concept you can just calculate this noise variance you just note down this uh, limit of the integration this limit is minus q by 2 to plus q by 2 but q is a quantization step as we have studied this is a uniform quantization so the q is equally uh, q is equal value for each equal quantization level and minus q by 2 to plus q by 2 represents each level that is we have assigned the quantization state at the midway between each level the quantization state start from minus qy2 and end at plus qy2 so if each each sample any sample is uh, fall within this range minus qy2 to plus qy2 we will define that sample we will designate that sample or we will assign that sample in that particular quantization state that is midway between that level minus qy2 to plus qy2 so we can calculate this uh, variance and the ultimate result is here that is q square y 12. So you can see that noise power is actually dependent on the quantization step size this q. So if we reduce this step size we can uh, reduce the noise power and if we increase this step size you can increase the noise powers. It is actually evident that if we increase the step size that means we are allowing much more range for the sample values to be assigned to a quantized state so there is an increase in error in that case so this is the noise power and the signal power is calculated directly from our formula that is vp square by one if we use uh, or assume that we have used a 10 ohm resistance and then uh, it will be calculated as l square q square by four where vp square is l square q square l is the number of levels we have divided the entire length and q is the step size so the SNR is calculated likewise using that formula that is directly related to 3L square and that you will see that directly the SNR is related to the number of levels. So as we increase the number of levels, we can increase the SNR also. 
here is a SNR design, design uh, designated in BB scale also. If we represent L, replace L by 2 to the power N because L should be in the power of 2 to define each quantization state at a binary code. So it will be defined as 6N where N is the number of bit we require. Here is a suitable example. You can see that a 3 kilohertz signal is sampled at a rate of 33 and one third percent higher than the Nyquist rate and the maximum error that is a quantization error we can accept that is 0.5 percent of the peak to peak value. So find out the quantization level and the number of level and the code length. So Nyquist rate is in actually for the 3 kilohertz signal Nyquist rate is 6 kilohertz but our sampling rate is higher than the Nyquist rate 33 and 1.13 percent so the sampling rate will be calculated as 8 kilohertz. Now since this quantization steps is Q and the maximum quantization error we can allow is Q by 2 that is Q by 2 is equal to 0.5 M by 100 that is 0.5 percent of the peak to peak signal and from this value we can calculate L that is equal to 200. Now the code length will be nearly that number of bits that will be close to the 200 and we can calculate that, that if we choose n is equal to 8 then we find l is equal to 2 to the power 8 that is 256 that is nearer to 200 so we choose 8 number of codes or 8 number of bits to represent each quantization level. There are some sources of noise also in the quantized signals. The one noise is the quantization noise that is we have, uh, we have discussed that is if we increase the quantization level or quantization state then noise will also increase. If we reduce the quantization step, noise will also decrease. That is the truncation or rounding error that we will call it actually. Because the sample value is close to the quantization state, will have the lower rounding error and the sample value is more than the, uh, far to the quantization state will have the larger rounding error. Also there is a saturation uh, noise is uh, results. This results due to the high amplitude signals. So when these high amplitude signals peak to peak range will uh, cover up or uh, ex exceed the quantization number of levels. Whenever this peak range exceed the number of levels then this signal will be clipped. That is all the signals, all the samples above the quantization level will be, above the highest quantization level will be rounded off to the nearest quantization level at the highest order. So it will be clipped off. So this is actually what we will want to do or what we want to study in this class. Thank you.